Hi, and welcome back. I'm Willow Grace. Thank you for joining me as we take a look ahead at your astrology forecast for the month of May. Now, before we begin to talk, start talking about astrology, if you're interested in working with me, you can visit my webpage. You can schedule a tarot and or astrology consultation there. You can also learn and participate by signing up for one of my classes or workshops. If you would like to receive your monthly astrology update by email, you, you can find that information at willowgracemystic.com. If you would like to receive these updates when they first come out, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel below. So now let's dive in. Gemini, we begin the month of May with this beautiful stellium of planets, Neptune, Jupiter, Mars, and Venus, all working in unison in the watery and intuitive sign of Pisces. Now with Jupiter, the planet of gifts and expansion, Venus, the planet of love and values, collaborating with this driven Mars and dreamy Neptune. It's about your thoughts, and blessings and abundance all coming together. Together, this planetary energy, it's, it's used to help you find your purpose and your drive to really see what's needed to help you manifest your dreams into a reality. And for you, this is about your career, how you want to be known. This is your ambitions, your recognitions, your life goals. This is the focus of how you want to be known in this lifetime. And this is a perfect opportunity to plant the seeds and manifest this and use all this. Uh, what you dream, you can manifest and make happen. So then on May 10th, on May 10th, we are going to have uh, Mercury stationing retrograde. It's going to be here until June 3rd. So Mercury is the planet that rules technology, travel, communication. Mercury is going to start its backward movement in the sky in the sign of Gemini. Here, are, your communication is going to become very, very important. It's going to be taking your ideas and reworking them, revisiting old projects that you've put off, and taking the time to complete these tasks. This is going to start in your house of self. What are you reworking for yourself? And then it's going to then travel into the earthy sign of Taurus. So this is where you're going to use the influence of the centered earth energy to take your thoughts and ideas and create them into something that is solid, stable, and tangible. You're going to start revisiting some concrete, practical aspects of your life to get to the root cause of things, which is thinking and communication patterns. It's about taking some things that you're thinking and doing and with about you and diving deep to what is the real problem here? How do you solve this? How do I, do I connect to my dream realm? Do I, is it through counseling? Is it becoming a counselor? Is it through meditation? It's, it's connecting all of those things into uh, it's revisiting old patterns. Why do I have that old pattern? Where did it come from? How do I release it? There's karma removing all right. So to learn more, you can always visit my website, willowgracemystic.com. I have a blog on Mercury Retrograde. Review, rethink, revisiting, and it'll help you about the do's and the don'ts. All right. So let's move on. June 11th. I'm sorry, May 11th. So on May 11th, um, Jupiter, the great benefic, it moves back into the cardinal air sign of Aries. It's going to be here until October 28th. Make sure I have that right. It's going to be here until October 28th. So Jupiter is a great teacher. It wants to help us grow. It wants to magnify our awareness. It wants us to see the good fortune that's in our lives. It shows us how to move beyond our limits. And so we can realize what is our true potential? What is this opportunity that's available to you? Uh, it rules travel, language, uh, cultural, spirituality, and education. And so while Jupiter is in this beautiful pioneering sign of Aries, expect that there's going to be plenty of energy for you to travel, to meet these challenges head first. Aries is independent. It is energetic. Combine this with Jupiter's expansive thoughts, visions, and ideas of the future this is widening your perspective. It's to dive in on a personal level to focus on yourself, to do the inner work. Aries is the first sign. It's full of fire. It's where you want to dive in head first. It's going to be ignited. It's going to have where you're going to have these, um, uh, your intuition and these innovative ideas. 
And you're going to want to let go of any limits and focus on solutions for the future to walk boldly into this unchartered territory, to take risks, succeed, fail, learn, repeat. Um, use this time as new opportunities. This is in, uh, it's to grow yourself and to expand your mind and thoughts with friends, social circles, networks. This could be networking through work, networking through friends. This could be networking on social circles that are on the computer, or uh, this could be in, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. It could be through technology, or it could actually be in, per, uh, in person. But this is a, a beautiful opportunity for you to dive head first and make those initial con contacts with people. All right. Then on May 15th and or 16th, depending on time zone of where you are. So we're going to have this. Um, oh, goodness gracious. We're going to have a full moon lunar eclipse in this deep and watery sign of Scorpio. Now, with um, eclipses are times of realignment. Uh, the goal of an eclipse is to remind us of our life's purpose, and they bring fast-paced changes, shocking revelations, sudden endings, quick beginnings. It is, um, it's a, it's, no, it's, when it's an end, it's a complete end, and it's a realignment of. It's to, the realignment's meant to put you back on track where you veered off, and Scorpio's energy is very intuitive. It rules the eighth house themes. Scorpio is a fixed water sign that's very fluid. It rules sexuality, shared resources, debt, mystery. This eclipse in Scorpio is showing you what you need to release from your life in order to live in alignment with true values. Scorpio, um, it is the deepest of the water signs. It's psychic, it's private, it's loyal, it's protective. Um, this is where you're going to have resistance to fulfilling your collective and soul intentions. You're going to want to move away from being fixated, Scorpio, with your past south node. Scorpio, this is where you hold um, grudges and you resist this birth, death, rebirth um, cycle that holds you back from transformation because of the fear of the unknown. This is where you're going to work to resolve what has um, happened in the past so you can experience life in its fullest. Now, this full moon is part of an 18-month cycle. Uh, the previous solar eclipse uh, was where we had things that were new and growing. And this lunar eclipse is about winding down in six-month increments and removing things from our path. Uh, what do you need to release for these burdens? Um, these themes are health wellness, daily routines, healing, wellness. These are very important themes. This could be a health crisis that's brought to light. This could be a diagnosis, a solution. This is getting into a health and wellness um, routine, finding a practitioner, you stepping into um, becoming a practitioner. Um, work can be uh, major closing or shifts can occur with your job. There's could be new diets, yoga, acupuncture, um, holistic procedures, uh, getting information from the outside world for new systems um, on how to create these new routines. This could be moving or a temporary lodging um, with your daily routines. Pets are also um, a part of this, can be. There could be a, a current pet that needs attention or getting a new pet. There could be a transition of one pet into the over the rainbow bridge. This eclipse may illuminate some necessary changes in your job for health reasons and health routines. There could be um, a surge of emotional energy to look for opportunities in order for you to make these positive changes in your daily health and wellness routine. Uh, there could be an opportunity that shows itself to improve your working conditions. This is you jumping into an exercise, nutritious pro a nutrition program, uh, a better job. It could be ending, it could be beginning. Um, this is about not ignoring any underlying, under the surface um, health things that are for you or for your pets. So if you know that there could be an underlying problem, take care of it now. 
um, declutter and um, organize your life for um, for where you work, your workspace. This could be also taking in supplements for health and wellness or yoga, meditation, practices. Um, any of these things can come and go. All right, next. On May 20th, on May 20th, um, the sun, the sun that represents ego, soul, it's going to be entering this uh, shape-shifting sign of Gemini. Now, Gemini is the third astrological sign in the zodiac. It um, is a mutable air sign that represents duality and um, ideas and communication. It's very adaptable. It's very flexible. Uh, therefore, while the sun is in Gemini, you're going to have no problems conveying your thoughts and your ideas. You're going to be able to do this with ease. There's going to be flexibility. You might change your thoughts and viewpoints on things depending on the information that is brought to you or that you have gathered. So you might feel one way and then you gather more information and facts and then you're going to change your mind on it. Uh, your intellect is going to be very strong and it's going to be backed with a lot of logic. So you're also going to have the power to persuade, teach, and or be creative. Then on May 24th, on May 24th, Mars, the planet of ambition, passion, fire, and energy, it in, it's going to enter its home sign of Aries, joining Jupiter. So while it is here, this is, let's see. While it is here, the energy will be spontaneous. It will be competitive. Uh, the goal will be to win. Your actions are going to be direct. They could be impulsive. Um, this is you looking forward to what you can accomplish confidently. And this is in your social sector. This is in your networking. This is in groups that you belong to. So you taking the lead in some of these areas. And then last, on May 30th, you're going to have a new moon in the mutable sign of Gemini. Now, this is going to be a lot of transition going on at this time. New moons represent fresh start, clean slate, and an opportunity to begin anew. A time to plant seeds for the future. Gemini is nervous and can be impulsive energy that wants to create. This is going to be an excellent time for you to improve on communication skills, to begin a project that involves writing, speaking, uh, creating to carve out some socialization, some time to socialize with friends and network with others. Take time to consciously tune in and listen and to create a deeper connection with those that you love. Thank you for listening and watching this video. If you would like to receive updates as soon as they come out, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and make sure you share this with your friends who you think might benefit from this information. You can also find me on Facebook where I offer uh, personal updates um, and chart readings on occasion when there's a new moon and a full moon. And if you would like to receive updates as soon as they come out through the email, you can sign up for my newsletter at willowgracemystic.com. I would love to hear your thoughts on how this energy is manifesting in your life in the comments below. I heart you.